The new Army Air Assault plane is here. The Bell V-280 Valor tilt rotor is being developed by Bell Helicopter for the U.S. Army's future vertical lift program. The aircraft was first shown to the public in 2013 at the United States Army Aviation Association Annual Conference and Exposition in Fort Worth, Texas. The V-280 was named the winner of the U.S. Army's Long Range Fighter Aircraft Program on December 5, 2022, which would have replaced the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk. It has an advantage comparable to Wonder Woman's invisible plane. It can fly at over 300 knots, and pilots have the ability to see through its walls. You can also network with target intelligence, fly nearby drones, and fire next-gen weapons. It can hover and maneuver like a helicopter, and it can also switch to flight mode at high speeds. Brigadier General Walter Rugen, director of the multi-role vertical lift team of the future, said this is a fantastic opportunity for Army experimental test pilots to fly the technology demonstrators created as part of the joint multi-role engineering demonstration program and provide initial familiarization with the advanced helicopter technologies we can expect to see in the future record-breaking long-range attack aircraft program. Army pilots introduced modern strategies, tactics, and procedures while providing actual or actual combat experience, new ideas for future designs, and increased mission relevance. The lead pilot for Bell and the V-280 Valor noted that they wanted to give people an idea of the aircraft's acceleration, deceleration, speed, and handling. Full-scale production of the long-range attack aircraft is expected to begin in 2030, according to a statement from David Hilton, head of public affairs and strategic communications in the aviation program's executive office. The main component of acceleration that has been successful so far is the inability to keep up with the speed of technology, as Rugen put it. This indicates that new weapon, sensor, computer, and engine technologies will be incorporated into software and hardware designs. Industry investment sped up the four-year process. We are satisfied with your work and look forward to the continuation. You have the best of both a turboprop plane and a helicopter. According to Grove, no helicopter can take off as fast as a V-280. An extended combat radius makes the aircraft easier to deploy on a single mission without the need for advanced weaponry or refueling points. The U.S. Marine Corps, and to a lesser extent, the U.S. Air Force now rely on tilt-rotor technology, which was once considered a white elephant in the aerospace industry. Brian Anger, Bell's Vice President and Program Manager for Future Long-Range Attack Aircraft, says, we're looking for a clean sheet design based on what we learned from the V-22, and we want to develop an aircraft for the air attack mission. Low speed agility, efficiency, range, and the ability to reach very high speeds. This completely new design is likely related to some of the dynamics discussed in testing engineering techniques to maximize the benefits of next-generation tilt-rotor technology by creating a reliable and efficient control system. Regarding the significant differences between the cabin and interior design of the V-22 and how the set of planned missions of the V-280 Valor explains them, The V-280 was designed as an easily reconfigurable multi-mission platform for assault or medevac combat, while the V-22 was designed for medium-heavy assault support. The target market for the V-280 was the infantry squad.
the main fighting unit of the Army and Marine Corps. The V-22 seats 24 passengers, while the V-280 is designed for 12 passengers. This allows for expansion to carry everything the mission needs, including dog teams, medics, interpreters, squad leaders, and built-in reporters. The V-22 features a rear loading ramp, while the V-280 features side doors for quick entry and exit of the aircraft. This greatly increases versatility, and the cockpit volume allows for rearrangement for different sets of missions. Bell's tilt rotor design makes sense, incorporating the latest in digital avionics, sensors, and high-speed computers to ensure that mission systems, weapons, and sensors can be continuously improved as new technologies are developed. To provide human decision-makers with optimized data and solutions, this will likely involve AI-enabled systems capable of aggregating and orchestrating otherwise unconnected incoming sensor data streams. When the initial requirements for the Army's future Vertical Lift Science and Technology Demonstration Program were developed, the military envisioned technological capabilities that have since evolved significantly. The goal was to develop specifications for an aircraft that would perform better in the 2030S and beyond, including the use of what the military has dubbed a human-machine interface, in which computers reduce the cognitive load on pilots by automatically performing a variety of procedural tasks. The development of autonomous flight technology is part of an attempt to meet military requirements, and Bell has been incorporating this technology into the V-280 since 2019. Bell engineers successfully demonstrated autonomy with an aircraft that operated and flew without human intervention. The door is now open for a self-deployment mission.